Friday, which means we were in another Carolina city for our hometown spotlight sponsored by Dave Edwards Toyota. And this week, 7 News is Christine Scarpelli and photographer Ryan Goodman traveled to Lawrence. And here's some of the few things they found. Hours before the fans file in and the parks fill up with play and performance in the city of Lawrence, Ernie Whiteford How you doing today? is already seeing his breakfast crowd die down. It's the best around. He tells us these parts are known for people who work hard and treat you like family. Competition makes you do a better job. Ernie's competition is on the square. We love downtown. We love the community. We wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Roma's authentic Italian food opened on the historic square in 2003. Yvonne and Jennifer Yosef have a certain affection for their customers. Well, they even come to all the way to the window. I know you're busy, but you know, we just want to say hello. Diners may come from across the street where the historical museum is making room for Native American artifacts or a theater straight out of the 1950s with homemade burgers and a cheap show. I just love it. I just love it. Retired local of Lawrence, Phyllis Horn, says she would rather watch paint dry at the artist coop. Here, area artists show off and share their craft. I feel energetic. I feel like I feel like I can just sort of play in it and just create something. Just outside of town, be careful pulling into this nostalgic filling station. It's modeled after a 1930s gas pump and on the first Friday of every month, car enthusiasts come in to show off their rides and take pictures. It's another unique part of a small city. Now, I think it is a hidden gem. With big personalities yeah. and a tendency to make you feel like you're home. Food is good, service is good, the atmosphere, you know, and uh, that's why people come back. In Lawrence, Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. Next on 